What's up guys, it's Drake, and today we're talking about this. This is the Zing Hyper Strike. Now, this is the latest in a long line of Zing bows. They've made Zing bows more or less the same way for a really, really long time, which is to say with the same amount of elastic, the same more or less arrow design, although they have been iteratively improving the arrows over time. Uh, some of the old arrows I really enjoyed, but they were more fragile. So this appears to be Zing's take on kind of a tactical, tactical uh, compound bow. It's got more elastic than ever before. It's got carbon fiber hydrographics on it, which is oh so cool. I know how hard that is to get right. Probably a little bit easier on a mass manufacturing kind of perspective, but nonetheless, a very, very cool take on the Zingbo concept. Now, what I'd like to do is have a war with these, but I'll discuss why that's a little tricky and a little impractical uh, over the course of this video. For the time being, let's go ahead and crack it out of the package and take a look at what you get for 30 bones. All right, so while I was taking this apart, I noticed that in here it says a breakthrough in backyard battle. And uh, we already know how much of a fan of alliteration I am. I think that's pretty cool. Then we're promoting our in-house YouTube channel, which is a little content like guys. Um, but uh, we've got four Zonic, which is their way of saying Sonic Whistle Arrows. Then we have ultra durable power cords and a low profile bungee. All of that is pretty much par for the course. Now this is a little more expensive than Zingbos have been in the past and the arrows are, while not their best version ever in my opinion, very, very good. Uh, they've got this notch on the back which is staggered so that you can grab these and pinch them like this. It actually completely eliminates the need to do what I eventually built up as a habit which was choking up on them right here in kind of the built-in notch. That the injection molding leaves behind. Now as far as the bow itself goes, uh, it's completely ambidextrous. You just hold it in your non-dominant hand, grab your arrows in your dominant hand, and the bungees will be facing towards you. Of note, uh, not like this, like this. Other than that, it's always been easy to chamber these. You chamber them by kind of lining it up like that. As long as this is vertical, it's very easy to get in there. It almost auto finds them because of the way the hooks work and how thick the bungee covers are here. Now, other than that, your mileage is gonna vary. In terms of performance, a child draws to about here uh, and they will get serious performance. This is about as far as I'm willing to fire it in, a, in my office. So like that's a foot of draw and you can very easily uh, pluck as it's called to fire that way, especially if you're shooting at a target that's closer up. However, depending upon how long your wingspan is, and mine is uh, admittedly very large, I need custom arrows for my, my actual compound. Um, it's a lot of power to fit into one bow. So the bungees will give you as much as they've got to give. I've never pulled so far that I've run out of bungee, but the more tension you put on it, the more elastic potential energy is in the system, and the more kinetic energy you get out of it. So the only way to finish this review properly is to take this bad boy outside. All right, so I don't know if I've ever tried this before. If I have, correct me in the comment section, but I'm gonna try and put a Zingbo arrow over a uh, ballistic chronograph. It'll measure some arrows. It's really, it's funky. So we'll see how we do. We also are gonna have to line it up over the, the eyelets, which is gonna be tricky. I said it's only 133 FPS. That's not, that's not bad. That's, that's end war legal, right guys? Uh, it's really the amount of mass that's moving that size that makes these somewhat, uh, well, conspicuously ridiculous. Um, we'll try putting one more over. We'll see how consistent we are. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's actually rather consistent. All right, now the, the cool thing about these is because of the fins and the weight distribution, they tend to be remarkably accurate. So what should we aim for here? Um, let's see if we can hit the, uh, the bird box up there. Unfortunately, it betrays that we've, uh, we've attempted this before with, with other ammo, uh, so to speak, but we, uh, we ought to be able to get pretty close. So that's our goal. Uh, we're standing about 35 feet away, almost 40 if you consider the angle, hypotenuse, right guys? Uh, we'll, uh, we'll just see where we're at there. All right, so we were a little off and that arrow is probably gone. 
and off the other way. So I mean, we, we came very close to the tree both times and maybe we'll recover that ammo. So I, uh, I do want to discuss though, that, that that's probably user error and trying to go fast for YouTube and having not picked up one of these in a while. Uh, I touched on this at Toy Fair. I think that there's some funky stuff going on here. So first off, let's pop this panel off on the back. And you'll note that it's uh, an easily removable panel. It serves no purpose whatsoever other than to break up the carbon fiber hydro dip on there. And my big thing is like, this would be perfect since it sits on the outside to sell an accessory that fits these two dots or replaces this panel and creates uh, a saddle or a side saddle on here that would hold them. I guess a quiver, an onboard quiver, just like a compound. I haven't seen that accessory yet, but I'd really like to see that accessory from Zing because I do really like using these things. Um, other than that, I think that it's great. I do miss the, uh, the light up gimmick. I thought the fire strike arrows were the best arrows we've ever had. They were super durable. They lit up so you could find them very easily if you accidentally shot them into the woods or something. But that's, uh, that's just my take on this. Do you guys think that the Zing Hyper Strike is worth the slight price bump up to 30 United States dollars, or uh, do you not really have a use for these? Like, I think that they're really fun, something that I'd like to do, uh, and Zing and I have kicked around the idea of in the past, tell me if you'd be interested in attending, is a Zing-like battle where everybody's wearing proper safety gear and we basically play archery tag with these things. I think that that would be awesome content. I would really like to do something on that level, something that cool, but uh, haven't finalized that yet, just kicking the idea around. We've done some commercial work for Zing in a laser tag arena before with the fire tech arrows. That was sweet. Uh, but that's my take on the Hyper Strike. I think it's definitely worth 30 bucks. I super duper appreciate the influencer package they sent a while back. Uh, and uh, that covers it. Much love, Nerf on Drek out.